Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. Today is the clash day once again and in this video I will show you my first footage with the new clash v2 so I'm right now enjoying the new clash v2 I'm testing them really thoroughly really deeply so I can write a review and my review will have to be released or I have to put the review to to my boss on 25th of February my check review and after that I will focus on my personal tennis guy review in English for you so uh, I want to show you some footage before I make the review because I feel like I have to do it uh, I'm really privileged to to play with these rackets I believe not many people are actually testing this racket right now because they're still a little bit kind of a secret and mystery to the public but I'm really happy to have them with me so I feel like I have to show you something because uh, I have to share the passion for tennis rackets and tennis stuff and tennis that is my sport of choice it's my life sport uh, from four years old so yeah over 30 years tennis playing so guys my whole life is tennis so of course other sports too but tennis mainly um, so when the when the clash we won was released in 2019 I believe at the end 2019 it was a huge release it was one of the big releases in the modern uh, tennis racket history I believe and the clash was so successful that it got the number one spot in the United States I believe for the last two years maybe so it was the best selling racket in the United States and we have so many rackets so many great rackets from Bubblelot, from Head, from Yonex, from Dunlop, from Prince, from other brands and Wilson did did lead the chart with a completely new frame with completely new technologies with completely new philosophy with the most flexible f frame in the modern tennis era and it was a blast it was a blast so so uh, the clash v2 is there and it builds up it builds the the legacy it builds upon the legacy of the first gen but it improves exactly in the points i was let's say not pleased with so the first thing that I didn't like, let's say, didn't like uh, compared to, well, let's say, standard racket with the Clash V1 was the stability. Because the racket is so flexible, then of course it lacks the stability at some point. And if you lose the stability, you actually lose control and at the same point you lose the the power from your body that you generate the power so so if the racket is let's say too flexible then it generates the power for you but sometimes you don't need that you are so good you are so able to generate the power for your own when you are on a higher level that the, 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 the most flexible frame can actually hurt you because you you shoot the balls too too far and sometimes you lose the control so that was improved it was imp it was it is improved a little bit but this little bit thing this little bit improvement let's say makes a huge difference in overall feel of the racket and of the philosophy of the racket and uh, the second thing that changed a little bit and once again it's a positive thing is the overall control 
that has something to do with the head and with other things I can't talk about. So the control and the precision is also now better. And that is always very good if you have a racket that is so powerful like the Clash. So now I will switch, switch forward to my second part I wanted to talk about. Because this is something that stands out and that is probably the best uh, feature of these rackets. And these are the volleys. So the volleys with these rackets are so satisfying, are so easy to play, so easy to use. And at the same time the speed of the volleys is great. The stability, as I told you, got improved so you feel more connected to the ball and you feel the support from the racket now much more so you you're not overshooting the the court and still the balls go really deep and really uh, they have the length I would say they have the length so no really short balls from this racket and that applies also uh, for the ground strokes and I didn't mention the spin factor the spin factor for these rackets was great with the previous generation but sometimes the spin was kind of unpredictable the spin was flying too far too high and you were losing control now it's better but I can't tell you why I will tell you that later when it is let's say allowed to talk about the details just the specs uh, I'm testing the record with the Luxelon Smart thing, Smart String, and I don't particularly like this string because you have to string the record at lower tension, at let's say 21, 22 kilos, or even less, 20 kilos, 19 kilos, to make the strings work as they are intended to work, because they are smart. So. Uh, if you hit the ball with a really high speed, uh, high speed swing, then the strings get stiffer, and when you have the lower swing, then the strings are more flexible. That's the smart, let's say, the smart technology inside them. And what does it mean? So sometimes you lose the the control. Sometimes the the strings play for themselves. But I testing them. The Clash V2 once again with Smart, with looks on Smart because it's a recommended string. But interesting is that I quite like it actually. So uh, I think that the control is there, the speed is there, the comfort is there, and even the spin is there. So not at all a bad job, but to be honest, I would like to try the record with my preferred string, which is the Black Coat from Technifiber 1.0. 28 millimeters so that would be really magic to play with my string and to really feel the difference so now my sparring partner Jeanette I, I thank her very much for uh, sparring uh, for taking sparring sparring uh, hours with me because it's, it's sometimes hard to find someone who plays at let's say my level and who is willing to get filmed and to to share it so so i thank you very much and i thank her very much and she's doing a really great job she she plays really great we have lots of fun and uh she enjoyed she enjoyed the lighter version i can't tell you the, the what, what is the model or what is the version but she enjoyed the lighter version a little bit more i enjoyed the heavier version little bit more but once again the lighter version is so easy to maneuver so easy to control the, the, the position of the racket so you are able to to get used to the fast balls really quickly without losing too much energies and I'm shooting at her at full speed guys so no joke here no joke I believe uh, for some let's say uh, lower skilled players 
they will they they will really have a hard time with these they will really have have had some hard time with these shots but she is skilled she is a let's say the tournament on a tournament level of tennis and yeah she really enjoyed the clash and by the way she's, she's playing with Wilson she's playing with the Wilson Ultra with the generation with with, with counter whale in it and probably she, she likes the new Clash V2 more than her Ultra. So, well, interesting sign of the improvement of the racket. So, guys, these were my first impressions, my first shots of the racket. Now we are changing the racket. She got the heavier version, I got the lighter version. And yeah, first shots, first video, first impression. I hope you like it because there are, there is not many info still on the Clash which will be released some, somewhere in March 4th I believe at the beginning of March so we will have to wait a few more days on the, on the, on the release and on the additional info so yeah Clash V2 are coming and they are better than the previous version I can tell you that so right now so so if you if you didn't like the, the the first clash because of some minor flaws I've been talking right now about so the, the lack of let's say stability lack of control the unpredictability of the shots and let's say too much power without control now it is improved and the the, the overall experience stays the same it's still the clash it still feels the same it sounds the same there's the wooden sound if you hit the ball there's the, this crack this pop uh, but little bit little improvement so so if, if Wilson released this second generation as the first generation if this was the first clash it would be a huge a huge thing but still we 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 evolve and the records evolve and you can't do everything perfect on the first shot so so i think that this evolution is logical and it's it's okay it's completely okay so guys that was it that was my first look at the clash v2 first play first video i hope you like it i enjoyed it very much i'm still enjoying these records i will play with them plenty plenty of hours in the next days and yeah if you like that click the thumbs up button if you didn't click the thumbs down button of course you can and if you want to support my channel check the buy me a coffee platform and buy me a coffee or you can subscribe to some some of the third three tiers there and you will get some extra goodies like online consultation with me in person via the webcam I can give you advice which racket you buy you would like to buy or which racket will suit your style and I can even analyze your your tennis skills your tennis strokes because I'm a tennis trainer guys so yeah I'm not only shooting these videos but I'm I'm coaching so I will maybe post some coaching videos in the future too but yeah let's not let's not get too excited about it so guys thank you for watching enjoy tennis every time every day and i will see you in next video so yeah bye guys